Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk to you for a moment about the 21 day challenge. So for many years now, we as a church community have been gathering around the idea of prayer and fasting into the new year. And uh, from January 1st to January 21st, we're going to again join together in prayer and fasting. Now we believe this is very significant to the life of our church. I think it fuels a lot of the ministry benefit that we have throughout the year. And uh, we've seen a tremendous year go by, but as we look into the new year, we really want to gather around the idea that we can make a difference together as we would seek God, because God wants to move among us. And so really, let me just encourage you to consider joining us for the 21 Day Challenge. It's a time to set aside things and pick up other things. It's a time for us to put an exclamation point on the end of one chapter and to start writing a new chapter. I really believe that God wants to speak to us. I believe 2014 is a very significant year for us as a church. And so as a result, we would desire together to find God's heart as we move together into the future. Would you consider joining us? Every lunch day, we're gonna be gathering Monday to Friday through the three week period. Here here at the church, right in the sanctuary, to pray in the lunch hour. Also, three times over the course of the 21 days, on January 7, January 14, and January 21, we're going to gather for a night of worship and prayer. And we want to invite you to come and join us at 7 p.m. on those three nights for worship and prayer. And you may be wondering, well, what's this whole fasting thing about? Maybe you've never fasted before. I think the 21 Day Challenge is a wonderful opportunity to explore the benefit of this spiritual discipline. Um, if you're looking for some more information about partial fasts and those kind of things, uh, we'll have some of that stuff for you on our website. I'll also write just a small article that will give some of the details of how you can fast and some of the, um, the ways to do that most effectively. Um, but really, let's gather for prayer with a heart set on God and our eyes fixed on the vision that He has for us as a church. And let's believe that 2014 is going to be a great year.